Future WWE plans for a returning SmackDown star have been revealed. Plus, an NXT faction could be making their Raw debut tonight. And in an exclusive, Impact Wrestling have confirmed a returning name for 2024. It's all in the Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. Crown Jewel took place on Saturday. Andrew and Adam watched it live. Your shock and awe at the return of Kyrie Sane was... Palpable. It was palpable. It was more palpable than what the crowd were like for the show itself. Yeah. Day for her return. But it's so good to see her back, and I genuinely can't wait to see what she does. Do you feel like the return was somewhat stunted because it was on the outside of the ring? Obviously, you uh, have the element of surprise by doing that. I think maybe just maybe just the wrong crowd. Maybe just yeah. the wrong crowd for it, yeah. Shame, really. But either it way, is. she is back. She is back indeed, and I'm so excited. Uh, and there are plans afoot already, aren't there, Andrew? There yeah. certainly are. So Fightful Select has given some details on Kyrie Sane's return. And they say Kyrie Sane's new WWE deal was done months ago, as were a couple of others, such as Nia Jax and Lexis King, when the unofficial WWE hiring freeze ended. Sane was desired by WWE last year, but WWE couldn't make it happen for whatever reason. Now, Reddit Insider Kermit, which is an incredible name, by the way. It is a incredible name and an incredible source. Yes. They, they seem to get it right a lot of the time. Yeah, they've been correct on many posts that they put out there, and they have said that another friend will join Sane and Sky Plus, another that no one will see coming, not even their closest ally. BWE, which is another insider source that's on the money quite a lot of the time, adds it's coming together and no one is ready. Seemingly insinuating there that maybe no one is ready for Asuka. Yes, I do think that that could be, that, that could definitely be the case for sure. Yeah, so they do say that another friend will join plus another one. Mm. And I was like, maybe it's time to bring back Mako Satomura. Mako Satomura. Yes, a huge dominant faction uh, within the women's division would be, oh my goodness. I just want to see Mako back as well. You know, Gosh. I've missed her. I've missed her a lot. Mako, Io Sky, Asuka. And Kyrie saying, "It's too good to be true." One could salivate over such prospects they there with a team could. like that. Yes, that's really that'll cool. be amazing. Uh, of course, it was Kyrie saying returning at Crown Jewel. Lots of other stuff went down at the show. Uh, you can check out what happened at and the WTF moments for Crown Jewel as well. They're on the YouTube channel. Uh, if not now, I think by the end of the week. Yes. Also, want to say thank you so much to everybody who watched the stream and also donated. Uh, I believe we raised over a thousand dollars in aid of Human Rights Watch. So thank you so much for all your generosity as well. It means a lot and it's going all to a good cause too. You're the best. Thank you, you are so the much. Best. Uh, Monday Night Raw tonight. Possibly an NXT faction popping up for the first time there. Hmm. PW Insider has reported that the Metaphor, so Noam Dar, Oro Mensa, Jakara Jackson and Lash Legend are slated to appear on WWE Raw tonight. Now, whilst no no uh, Noam Dar has appeared on Raw in the past, this will be the first time he and the Metaphor have made their presence felt on Monday. So it's the first time the metaphor of being on yes. Raw, as opposed to some of the parts who may have popped up here and there and everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a possibility that they could be there to do main event. We've seen, yeah. uh, obviously, NXT uh, stars turn up to do stuff for main events, and mm -hmm. possibly that. It could be that they're giving them a trial on the main roster to see how that flows. Yeah, because I was like, oh, where would they where would they fit in? But I guess with Noam Dar having the NXT Heritage Cup, I was like, maybe something there with Chad Gable? Maybe we get Alpha Academy Ooh. in the Met for do stuff. You could also have Jakara Jackson and Lash, and Lash Legend maybe challenge um, Piper Niven and uh, Chelsea Green for the uh, for the tag team championships as well. Maybe. Oh, nice. Something that I don't know. Uh, maybe so. I would like to see them do something with uh, with Alpha Academy though. For sure. That'd be a nice little combo, yeah. wouldn't it? A nice little combo. Hey, I tell you what, some uh, former NXT stars have made a comeback to the indie scene in a flipping major way. Uh, the Dyad bid farewell to WWE and the grizzled young veterans Ooh. are back in their place. And they haven't stopped since their release. They've popped up at Indies in the States. They popped up at OTT in Ireland. And then this weekend alone, they appeared via video at Progress Wrestling. They have challenged Sunshine 
Giant Machine for a match at the Light of the Dragon, which I believe is their first pay view of next year. That's going to be a banger. Those four. Such a banger. James Drake, Zach Gibson, Chuck Mambo, TK Cooper. I can't wait. Do that all day long. They also appeared via video at North Wrestling in Newcastle on Saturday night. Open challenge to any team tough enough to grit their teeth and face the veterans. Um, And that'll be at uh, North Wrestling's last show of the year on December 9th. It's coming soon. No, literally like less than a month away. We're we're back at Anarchy Brewery. Yes. Uh, And as well as all of that, Zach Gibson appeared in person at Rev Pro in London on Sunday, attacking Michael Oku, the Mm. the Rev Pro champ. Uh, And it sets the stage for a title match between the two, December 16th at Uprising in Crystal Palace. So take time to watch all three videos, right? The one they did for Progress, the one they did for North, and it's not a video, admittedly, but the promo <laughs> that Zach Gibson did at Rev Pro. Like, gee, why did WWE not do anything with these two wow, lads? It is insane. But Seriously. I'm, it's so nice to see them thriving and doing what they're so good at doing, and it's such a shame that they didn't get to do that. Like, with the tag team scene now within WWE as it is, and it's much better than it was, like, a few years ago, it, it feels like a no brainer to have someone like the grizzled young veterans like get themselves in there and and make just like such a, a huge deal for themselves within that division but yeah no I'm happy that they've been able to go away now and they're just like they're doing what they're the best at just being an incredible tag team absolutely brilliant a busy weekend for them and more to come from them as well on the podcast feed over the weekend uh, we dropped episode one of a three part I want to call it an odyssey it's called Punk Vember so Aiden Gibbons the cultaholic doctor tribal editor-in-chief has essentially written a dissertation <laughs> about CM Punk's time in and out and shake it all about of AEW. Uh, so he brought it in and we've, we've roundtable discussed CM Punk's time in AEW. Myself, uh, Aiden Gibbons and the birthday boy from yesterday, Fraser Porter. Woo-hoo. I hope you wished him a happy birthday. Be livid if you didn't. Uh, episode one is on the podcast feed right now. Episode two's coming uh, next week. So uh, if you haven't had enough CM Punk news... Which we haven't, nobody has. No one's had enough CM Punk conversation and discourse. There is more on the podcast feed awaiting for you. We end with a Cultaholic exclusive <gasps> uh, regarding Impact Wrestling. And, uh, well, over to Andrew for this one, I think is right. Yes, so Impact have obviously just wrapped up the UK Invasion Tour. And this past Friday, Turning Point aired from Newcastle up on Tyne. This young man, my goodness, the Kavorka, the energy you put into that <sighs> announcement was unbelievable. That's some so lovely good. messages check online, so thank you for that. Uh, Scott Damore caught up with Cultaholic's own Tom Campbell recently to talk about the tour and uh, at the end of the interview, right, Scott Damore dropped a bombshell about a returning star. It's been just an awesome week here and excited to be back in the UK and can't wait to be back here again next year. Scott, it has been, honestly, and I genuinely say this has been one of my highlights of, of my 39 years on planet Earth to spend the weekend with you guys as part of Impact Wrestling. Genuinely from from the heart of my bottom, sir, thank you very much for uh, being so welcoming and have me on the tour. Absolutely, Tom. Thanks for uh, for uh, being with us. When we have those dates, you'll get a call and uh, circle them because if you don't uh, if you don't agree to take them, we're going to hunt you down and kidnap you for the shows. Is that me getting booked? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did it. You and Grado are the must-haves for 2024. There you go, it's me, basically. Hey! <laughs> concerned um so sorry for the voice so that was recorded like the day after the tour yeah oh i knackered my I, voice you can tell as well hey but look at that he's, he said he's gonna kidnap you if yeah. he can't get you he'll kidnap so, i mean that is a confirmation for a booking right there isn't uh, it? i think that that'll take it so i mean and i also accepted on behalf of grado later in the interview as well. <laughs> so sorry grado not sure if you're free but you would work it now um we'll keep you up to date on that one uh, so uh, I, I guess i'm a tna ring announcer you next are. year <laughs> hey! look at that you Officially on the roster, Tom. Oh, Officially hey. on the roster. I've been, I've been so over the moon with all the, the love and support from from you. I think I said this at nauseum before the tour started, and I'll say it again now. Like a big part of the reason why I'm doing it, and apparently getting to do it again is you. So thank you, honestly. Thank you. Hey, and hey, thank hey. you. You deserve it. How exciting. Uh, when we know more. I guess we'll let you know more yeah. at cultaholic.com. Let's do the thing for a lovely Let's cold Monday. Keys, keys. I love you, bye.